Howdy, everybody. I thought before we started today's stream, uh, I could show you guys a package I got from T Public. They were kind enough to send us uh, a little bit of a gift here. Um, obviously, we've been working on a ton of stuff and kind of cycling through uh, what's important first. Obviously, the show, our hardware, making sure everything works. We just got back from vacation, so thank God. Uh, it's really tough to do this with one person. So um, let's see what they sent us because it's I have no idea. Um, uh, we're working on new t-shirts and obviously uh, we're going to show those off as soon as we get them finished, but we're trying to take anything from an episode that we thought was funny or liked and just trying to make a design out of it. We're not graphic artists, but we're trying our best. So if you have suggestions, please hit us with them and we'll do what we can to, to get them done here. Okay. So, um, Holy hell, I think they sent us like four or five t-shirts. Jesus. Okay, uh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I see what they did. Okay, that's really cool. So uh, we have... God, these are so brand new. Uh, we obviously have the Forsaken T here, their logo. Uh, it looks like it's off-center. That's because it's not fully in frame. Yeah. Uh, there you go. Um, some of these are for, yeah, some of these got to be for Brie because <laughs> I don't think I wear a woman's medium. I don't think I could pull that off. So, um, oh man. So honestly, I can, I can always use more t-shirts. I don't know about you guys, but I don't buy clothes for myself all that often. And the time I do it is right around Dragon Con. Usually I'll spend like a hundred bucks on t-shirts just because I want new stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, we have the Packbound t-shirt. Oh man, that looks good in purple, honestly. Oh, that's good stuff. That there's good stuff. There you go. It looks a little blue on camera, but it's a nice purple. Maybe I'll color correct that for you guys. Eh? Eh? I hang my shirts. I don't fold them. That's why it looks so cruddy when I fold them. <laughs> uh, a raven's tee. Uh, uh. So, obviously, you can get all of these on our tea Public store. Um, they have sales quite often. Usually it's for 30% off. Um, and we have one more here. I, I thought it was going to be an invasion tee, but... Uh, it's something from Theriathon. Invasion's playing today. Don't forget about them. I know it's been since January. They're back. It's okay. We we finally... <laughs> uh, we finally got that going again. Ooh, okay. Eh. There we go. Okay, so these... Uh, the tarot cards were made for Theriathon, and we had a big to-do. Uh, and there's a bunch of them on there but uh we're gonna be cycling uh we're gonna be cycling stuff in and out um kind of short-term stuff so the store doesn't get crowded uh at, at at most we want like eight or nine designs on there so if you see more than that we're gonna start cycling out old ones so please go check it out um i hope you enjoyed today's session it was a mess to edit but it's done and hopefully nothing like that will ever happen again. So uh, without further ado, thank you. And let's get on with the show. Hey, everyone, it's Ian from Group Invasion. Thank you for listening to Dungeons and Randomness. We're going to get to the episode real quick here. But first, I just want to point you out to the Patreon that we have. That's at patreon.com slash D-A-N-D-R where you can find uh, a bunch of uh, other games that we've played, uh, a bunch more content, some cool stuff, uh, and modules as well that have been handcrafted for you, the listener. Um, and you can't get that anywhere else. Also, there's a Discord. Uh, that's also that link is available on the Patreon uh, and I think other places too, as well as the various social medias that we're on Twitter, Facebook, um, LinkedIn, all of them, and you can find it pretty easily. It's probably D-A-N-D-R or Dungeons and Randomness. 
Uh, or we've got a website too. That's d a n d r podcast dot com, and that's got all, all that good information as well. So check us out, and hope you enjoy the episode. Ooh. Let's do that thing where we go around the table and introduce ourselves. I'm Jason. I'm the dungeon master. Going around the table. Start with Michael. <laughs> Hey, I'm Michael, and I play Fenris, the warlock. And Kelsey. I'm Kelsey, and I play Calypso Lovelace, the half-elf bard. And James. Hey, I'm James. I play Dagon, the Eladrin Endurant. And Valerie. Hi, I'm Valerie, and I play Matilda Wolfram, the human rogue. And last and certainly not least, Ian. Hey, I'm Ian. My pronouns are he, him, and I play the Thaden Endurant. <clears throat> I'm going to love with you guys. Before we do the intro for every one of these, I like to <clears throat> I like to try and randomize it because I have this weird thing in my head that one of you is going to get mad that you've gone last too many times. <laughs> but I also rearrange the cups in the cupboard like they have feelings. And it's like, well, you've been in the back far too long and I'm fucking weird. So that's why I do that. But I genuinely couldn't remember who went first or last. Yeah, I was going to say, it's to assume that. <laughs> Let's remember that. Jason, can it I say... Been I understand the cup compulsion thing. <laughs> it's like, oh, yeah, especially 100%. if it's like a, it's a mug. It's a customized mug. It's like, oh, Harry Potter, you've been back there for, you know what I mean? Um, last time we played, it was winter. So, uh, let's... <laughs> Last we time we played, I was still a children. college student. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we we're, were so young so and it's, fair. <laughs> it's been it's it's been a while. We should probably do this a little more than I file quarterly taxes. So let's let's work on that in the future. But right now, we have a group coming together for the very first time. Your your Avengers moment, but probably not. Um, not as grand. Uh, you have a spoiled, cloned rich boy. <clears throat> at the the front of this party, uh, Fenris is tagging along the the shady grifter, um, and you have two thugs following them, and then you have uh, this this fresh off the boat looking Satan um, uh, endurant following the two thugs, and then two thugs following him, and then you got Calypso and Matilda. Uh, Matilda's still in the library. And Calypso starting to kind of see, oh, there's a problem here and giving a bit of pursuit. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, <clears throat> uh, Calypso. Yes. I'm going to give you the option to either wait and see where this goes and <clears throat> gain a plus two to your defenses for the rest of this fight. Or take the reins and attack somebody and gain a plus two to attacks for the rest of this fight. Wait and see. That's <laughs> I mean that's where they're they they're at before anyway, so let's just say like, that's what their mode of operation is. Um, that's fair. That was a, that was the most Kelsey move. Like I think to just like it's like let's stand I mean, back. I was going to say this. Let like Clips was like staying back, like waiting to see what happens before they do anything. I remember saying something almost exactly like that. I did like, five I, months ago. Uh, so. <laughs> look, I I I need to be clear. That wasn't me judging you and I have different uh -huh. play styles. I yes. I mean <laughs> like that's that's that's, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> Um, we need planners. We need thinkers. Uh, so here's also, what's going to happen. I'm like the only member of our party that isn't like attack heavy. So that would probably not do me much good anyways. That's fair. So you know what we're going to do? One of these, uh, this, this, this bandit here, <clears throat> right behind Dagon, is going to, jeez, uh, let's say... Let's say they sized you up enough and 
he's going to try and shoot you in the back with a crossbow. What? Like it's a it's a silent <clears throat> weapon. You guys are in an alley. Uh, you're you're in an alley. You know, but you you are moving. You're you're you know. So it's it's going to be with a negative two. Knocked out before reasoning. They don't even back. like talk first. Like this is just. I think uh, it's like why give you the chance to scream, right? Like you're you're very well off, obviously. You, uh, but they're going to try and shoot you in a place where it'll incapacitate you because you don't want to mess up those nice duds. Yeah. Well, I mean, it makes sense. Like magic people do exist in this world and are known. So if you see someone walking around fancy I duds, like suppose. there's a chance they could like whip a fireball at you. So better okay. to you know okay. not take your chances. That's I get the logic. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Sucks, but fine. But again, it negative two. So here's here's what we're going to do. Uh, boop, boop, negative two and roll. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, my God. Oh. It was almost a 20. Oh. Oh <laughs> almost. <laughs> and it goes Literally right almost. through your skull. Yeah, like he actually just would have died. Yikes. <laughs> so just I just back into the shadows like, ooh. <laughs> it's like, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that. Turns out that's dead shot. Uh, so... <laughs> No, uh, he did roll a two instead of a 20. So that's a total of three. Uh, that is obviously going to miss you. Go wide. So while you're talking, just like by the right side of your head, that right ear, just almost kind of grazing your pointy like Eladrin ear, just and kind of sail off into the alley and like kind of hit the, 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 the metal tip, hits the cobblestone and rolls over. Do you have a reaction to that? Do you notice it? Oh, uh, yeah, I'd say absolutely. It'd be kind of one of the things where it's like, you know, the, and then like, you know, kind of puts his hand up and not turning around yet, just sort of like trying to process what happened and looks at Fenris. What was that? I can I kind of imagine Fenris already knows what's going on. Like, yeah, <laughs> I, I don't. I, yeah, it's like, oh, God damn it, this is my mark. Um, so let's let's uh, let's let's mark everybody for combat. If you right click on yourselves and then click that sword and shield icon, uh, it'll throw you in the old combat tracker. Also go oh. to the utility thing on soft core bandit. I, that's a terrible name for a bandit. That, that, <laughs> there's a reason that guy's dead last. <laughs> <laughs> Did you come up with these? Or? No. So there's a random, uh, basically, oh, adjective that's, generator. That's fun. Thing, so. Soft core. <laughs> Soft core. Like who would? If you're if you're in crime, I don't think it behooves <laughs> you to be called soft core. <laughs> God, I wonder how we got that nickname. I'm so curious. Yeah, now. we're going to tickle you. We're going to tickle you so good. <laughs> <laughs> it's non consensual. <laughs> well, man, that's soft core. Uh, <laughs> <so> <laughs> he's part of the, the uh, Brightport underground <laughs> tickle fight scene. I yeah. guess. <laughs> we don't talk First about tickle club. you tell everybody about tickle club. <laughs> yeah. And. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's a great way to grow this membership. <laughs> <laughs> I love this band. Hold on. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I think another crossbow shot is in order because Softcore saw this coming. So he's got his little plushy helmet on and um he's he's like oh god you can't just okay hold on so he's got his his crossbow he's gonna fire a day gun here we go eh. uh 13 does he get um, does he have that minus two well he said he stopped oh is that not a uh my ac is combat yeah, dodge. The, no the, it was the dodge well you're not adjacent to him oh yeah i'm not thank you thank yeah. you we're getting used to <clears> it. Yeah, the combat <throat> yeah 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 the combat dodge is basically like when you're toe to toe somebody and you're like you're you're real squirrely you're anticipating movements thank you okay so uh, yeah uh, my so, issue is 12. okay so let's roll some damage wink ah oh shit uh three 
Where for those of end? you at home, I'm uh, uh, I'm gonna say probably he's gonna be more probably, angry if it was his anywhere on his face or you know. <clears throat> no, no, I. I, I think it's going to be like uh, upper upper right clavicle, like that area. But he's still and again, he didn't turn around. Oh, well, then never mind. It's going to be shoulder blade right, then. Right now. OK. Yeah. yeah. So that is plunk, three damage to Dagon. That is half of Dagon's health currently. God. <laughs> Uh, uh, he is uh, a. This is not going to go well. <laughs> well, now you know you're in a fight at least. Like I think now the <laughs> it's going to be much better. <laughs> you're, I, you're back. I might have to make my own rolls. Too. Yeah, you can do private rolls on here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Any roll could be private or whatever. Uh, not that so. That that brings up Calypso. So Calypso, you're going to see this. Let's call him a mint condition boy. Never been tarnished, n fold, no folded edges. Like he's like he, you could tell that is the first time he has ever been struck in his life, probably. <laughs> oh, no. I don't know if he's uh, ever been frowned at like he's, <laughs> he's like the kind of guy, like if any, if he was doing training or whatever, uh, you know, the trainers or anyone else would pull the punches and you know make it look like he's winning all the time so <laughs> oh no yeah uh so calypso is not gonna i'm just gonna delay my turn <laughs> let's see how this Did plays you out get shot and it's like all right let's see where they're going let's see yeah <laughs> kid just got shot okay, well, that's see, fine calypso is thinking so there are three people in front of calypso that currently does know that calypso is there so if Whoopso does something before they get involved doing other things, and they're all going to turn around, and it's going to be 3v1. So they're going to wait for a better opportunity. <laughs> you know. So Matilda is seeing all this from the second story of the library in that window. Um, because it's Valerie, there's a 50-50 chance that she may not get involved at all in this combat and just watch the entire thing go down. And we may be starting a new campaign with just Valerie I mean, and the Dewey Decimal System. I, I, that could happen. I would not be mad. I'd be so sad. <laughs> Adventures in organizing. The book of Matilda. Oh, wait, should, like how? Would it be like a turn to go up to where Matilda is? <laughs> like join me? Uh, to like yeah, just back go back already. in? <laughs> so the order of events would be like, oh man, looks like there's going to be trouble. Yep, there was trouble, and then you just book it <laughs> back into the building, and yes. like, yeah, I'm I'm not saying that that's a bad idea. Like logically, I think that's what most of us would do. Someone whips out a yeah. gun. It's like, all right, back into the library. Okay. I mean, you I don't know us. You don't have to get entire arc. I don't think anyone got the impression that they were very brave. This is not like <laughs> what time has had like no shame you... about this at all. <laughs> Do you want to go back inside? Yes. <laughs> wow. OK, then. Got him. Oh, OK, so I'm going to make a tactical retreat. <laughs> <laughs> So are you going, you're going up to the second floor. You're like, you're booking it. You're gone. Yeah. And I, <clears throat> Matilda's got the right idea. That's if I had known that was an option, that's what I would have done. So you're the one who left. Like, we didn't tell you to leave. <laughs> yeah, you were super but curious. I didn't know there was, was a on. second floor balcony that overlooked everything. <laughs> so uh, technically we'd count feet or whatever. But once you cross the threshold of the library again, it's like 10 feet away. Uh, we're just so gonna. It, is that out of combat then? <clears throat> no, not, well, I, it. I, Matilda's not out of combat. That's. Well, I think not necessarily just yet. I okay. What I would classify them is they're 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 on the bench, like they're still in the game, but they're snipers in the tower. But yes, if they choose yeah, to be. Yeah. Yes. So. <clears throat> but this entire thing could go by. These bandits either win or lose or whatever. 
and no one even knows that they were in play. It's kind of genius. Oh, it's beautiful. That's that's exactly <laughs> the way I want it to be. <laughs> it could be an awkward sit down next time if three of you die and these two delayed <laughs> the entire time. It's like, hey, hey, hey I also argue all of my stuff that I do is ranked <clears throat> anyways. I'm not going to be doing any differently to help you guys with my like healing word spells, which is pretty much all I got. <laughs> like, I'm just so, saying like, they've betrayed an entire team before. That's all. That's what, uh, all I'm <laughs> We aren't even a team yet. <laughs> I know. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, if you, you bring these, these bandits Kelsey, into my library, Kelsey. We're a team at the table, though. This is a cooperative game. <laughs> I mean, you guys could still be friends. Like, it's, you know. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. It all rests on this performance. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, you want to run? You want to get out of here? You want to take my stuff and leave me to die? <laughs> you just met him, honestly. I'd understand. I highly recommend it. It's great. <laughs> you have no reason to fight for me. See, this is why we have a problem in Brightport. <laughs> this is why all the bandits. <laughs> well, apparently you can just walk down the street and have like a horde of bandits following after you. Yeah, that'd be kind of an issue. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to give you a tour of Sacramento one day. It's going to be great. It's 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 very nice. Well, like my end of Sacramento, not like the museum library end of. <laughs> not the Capitol building. <laughs> Yeah, no. Fenris. So I look over and I see Dagon hurt. He's still are you are you still facing far? Did you turn back yet? Um <clears throat> I like, you know, because this is all happening in seconds. Uh, he's probably gonna whip around as soon as he you know an arrow goes into his back. But has it happened yet? I I don't know. Maybe not until his turn. Yes. I mean, like in between every turn, there's like six to ten seconds, depending on who you ask. So, like, I'd like to think that you'd spin around after you get shot in the back. Like, mm -hmm. I think that's reasonable. Mm -hmm. At the very least, it's a reaction, right? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's not dumb. So I, so I see this arrow and the blood and I've got the bag, which I... It's like a duffel bag kind of thing, right? So I, I just a drop fancy it. duffel bag. For now, I just drop it or I swing it. I, no, I keep it on my back. I'm not going to drop it. It's good. I could still make a run for it one day, maybe. Uh, and then I kind of look at it. Do I recognize these thugs in like, like, have they interfered with my marks previously? Could I, could it be someone I have a grudge with? Uh, you know what? Let's roll a die. Sure. <clears throat> Uh, let's, uh, let's roll a d6, uh, on a, on a, a six. Yes. You have history with these guys and that'll give you some kind of edge. Nah, these are just, these are just dudes. Okay. <laughs> just bros being dudes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, see them. Well, probably should take care of them before they think they've got to put a chip on their shoulder. And I look at... Big on, and so I hope you can handle yourself more than that. And I pat him, and where the uh, arrow is, and I do cure wounds on him. Oh. In his defense, he didn't know he was going to be shot at. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I can Did see you he's like, your, like one spell slot. To do that? Was to make a good impression. <laughs> it's the long con as far as I know there's only me and him <laughs> right that's fair and I would say so okay if you look at Just Dagon, saying, I might wait until he's <laughs> his three hit points <laughs> but like you look at Dagon like if that's half his hit points I would imagine he's reacting poorly to it right it's like oh, uh, like he looks half dead, technically, or or half unconscious. So like it's 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 like, OK, whoa, whoa, whoa. Maybe yeah, he'll yeah. react no, better it, when it, he knows he's in a fight. It's just <laughs> funny to me. Right. Has Dagon ever seen his own blood before? I doubt it. 
And he's got had to gotten like a paper cut or like, something. Probably like, something like that. But yeah, but like no one's probably ever harmed him before. Right. I mean, all of us. Here's the thing, though. All of us have <clears throat> even e- even those of us who we would probably classify as uh, like a little more white collar. <laughs> we've all had scrapes and bumps and bruises and cuts and, and you know, breaks and all that stuff. None of us have been shot before, right? Like, uh, like I'm, I'm, I'm right in assuming that's got to be, that's got to be next level. Like I got to assume. I don't. Oh no, this, this is the area. Yeah, it's like the old west. And I hope that none. Of, I hope all of us continue to not have ever have been shot. Right? Yes. No. Put it out there, <laughs> listeners. Please don't get shot. Like actually, while you're listening to this right now, look around you. Just look around. Okay. Get back to what you were doing. But just... <laughs> do your own perception check. Yeah. Uh, oh. uh, so you just healed Dagon for a Dagon and a half. That is eight <laughs> healing. Oh yeah, supercharged. <laughs> so, yeah, I imagine there's like this this purple tendril of energy that comes through <clears throat> and like just wipes it, and like the arrow just falls on the floor. And like, make sure that was worth it. And end my turn. <sighs> so see, see that you're 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 back to. You're back to to full. You're you're overflowing with blood, probably. <clears throat> um, <laughs> I have I have growths now. You have. The Isn't big that blood. how that works? Like, yeah. yeah you just, <laughs> your platelets are massive. Um, <laughs> now so, you have cancer. Oh no! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> that took a he turn. moved you back around to it's too it's too healthy. Yeah, I'm uh, dying yes. again. Okay. So Cunning Thug is going to do something really, really cheeky and smart. And he's going to take this club out and try and beat Fenris to death with it. So that's... Um, wow. Brilliant. It's a plan he's been working on for a while, but I think I, I think it's going to, you know... Uh, so he gets two swings. Oh, God. Here we go. One. Uh, seven. Seventeen. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Ouch, yes. Uh, but it's only... Oh, thank God. Minimal damage. Three. <sighs> Bloop. Uh, what's that put you down to? Uh, 14. Okay, yeah, you're... you're yeah, okay, that's good. Uh, and one more attack. Boom. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, 13. Yeah, my AC is 12. Uh, okay. It's okay. Oh, we have things in common. That's good. <laughs> We're not so different, you and I. <laughs> uh, seven damage. So that's a total of 10. Uh, that is going to end the thug's turn. And you could tell they're trying to get this done in a hurry. Like, they're just like, give me the back, give me the back. Like, they're, they're just trying. They, they figured. <clears throat> like. They figured a guy like Dagon would probably have some muscle, uh, you know, like uh, someone beefy, like it, it'd probably be more like Tuck or something like that that mm-hmm. he'd have around. But instead, he's got a guy like somewhat his size. So it's like, oh, yeah, these two, these two guys, like whatever. Let's just beat the shit at him under this bridge and leave him for dead. So they're hitting you in broad daylight. Uh, and that'll bring up Matilda. Matilda, uh like a Colombian drug lord, you survey <laughs> the scene from your uh, your your villa here, the second story, um, and you're mm-hmm. taking all this in. What would you like to do? Um. Okay. Well, the first things first. Um, Calypso ends up right behind me, <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Oh, you're back." Just out of breath from um, the steps. It's like, no, you're yeah, right, you're yeah. right. Just <laughs> I miss any of the action. <laughs> like, <laughs> um, so this is right outside Matilda's library. And Jason, what sort of part of town is this in Brightport? Like, do fights happen outside, or is this like a little bit of a nicer part of town? It's <sighs> okay. On a scale what? of one to ten, it's probably a four. Like 
it's probably a part of town that was a little bit nicer at one time, uh, hence the library being such a <clears throat> like a focal point. But over the years, you've gotten less and less funding like you don't have you, you're running the library, but with city funding and you don't have any budget for employees. So it's just you like you might sleep at the library. I don't know what your situation is, but like, yes, every once in a while, fights and, and robberies do happen like it's it, it's not super common, but it's it's not unheard of. So, um. Yeah, so Matilda's, I think, I think for now she'll just watch and, and see where this goes. So I guess in technical terms, I'll delay my turn. Watching people die. This is not healthy. Thank you. Thank you, Valerie, for making me feel less bad. <laughs> listen, listen, I'm, I'm working my library. The, all these little people doing their own little thing outside. <laughs> like, I all think the little people. I I think it's less insulting coming from the librarian and not the former cop. I think I think it's worse okay, coming okay. from the <laughs> First of all <laughs> I don't think anyone would expect anything less from a member of Firebrand. Let's be honest here. That's, That's... <laughs> So it's probably better for them if I don't get involved based on that group's track record. <clears throat> <laughs> so overreactionary thug uh, is going to let's see five ten twenty twenty nine thirty. Um, hmm. Uh, he's gonna brush past. Yeah, he's going to brush past uh, um, uh, Bittersweet here, the Thaden, and he's going to bust out his heavy crossbow uh, and he's going to aim. Yeah, he's going to aim for Fenris's face. Very overreactionary, like he's like very much. So. Heavy crossbow, here we go. Uh, oh, oh god that's a bunch that's 18 it was, it was an honor oh max damage of course so that just downs you though right yeah uh, yes <clears throat> wait, wait does it oh it, it does yeah, it absolutely <laughs> I had seven health. Hey, Kelsey, why are you so concerned about this fight coming out? We'll be fine. <clears throat> I thought we, there'd be literally... five members in the fight, Kelsey. <laughs> no, I didn't kidding. know. Yeah. <laughs> you got two people in the fight. It doesn't matter. <laughs> we're all squishies. I, <laughs> literally, we just. <laughs> it would be all five of us dying instead of all three of us. Like, I don't think. They might like be squishy, gonna... too. We haven't even touched them yet. Yeah, it's actually oh, a good point. 36, it's fixed 36 hit points for one of them. Okay, one, I'm going to turn that to private because that's metagame. <laughs> Two, <laughs> uh, uh, that doesn't measure their spirit. Okay. Uh, Dagon. Okay. So Dagon, you just watched <clears throat> Fenris get machine gun to the ground like he's an inglorious bastards and out of the corner of your eye you're going to see two people leaned over the balcony with their 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 fist like kind of like it's like oh wow shit um like they're they have box seats at the fucking cowboys game like they're really just taking it all in okay well that's enough to piss them off um oh jeez there's no point on making a snide comment to Fenris right now since he's I'm, I'm guessing unconscious um, I love that he heals here he's like try to do better <laughs> just dead <laughs> just well, I hope you can do that again you know um, <laughs> Wait, okay just throw a bag of gold in the in the certain direction and run the other way <laughs> that's how you get out of he's this. got my stuff I don't have anything right now okay I need okay <sighs> You got full health. See, this is the thing, because he's such a... He's not afraid, 
So he's just getting angry. Okay. Okay. So he's going to turn to the first thug he sees and just sort of like a, you know, how dare you, you know, make me bleed my blood. Um, okay. I, okay. I got, hold on. I got to make a roll. Can I, to see. Okay. Let me paint a picture though for you. These guys saw two easy marks. Already, like, it, this is supposed to be get in, get out, get the stuff and run. Not, I want to have a prolonged fight in the middle of this alley, right? So if you show that you could knock someone on their ass, that stretches us out a little bit more, doesn't it? Like, it's it, it becomes a thing. It's like, oh, shit. Like, they might start to reassess things. Okay, so he his power is very new to him. It's still uh, in an experimental uh, phase. So based on that role, instinctively sure. he's going to go for his sword. Um, sure. So he's going to pull out his rapier, and um, I guess he's going to point it right at uh, which thug is that beside Fenris. Oh, that's, that's uh, that is that's the cunning thug. He had a really good plan. Cunning, okay, cunning thug, and uh, he's going to attempt some sort of stab thrust. <laughs> <laughs> some move that's probably <laughs> gonna look ridiculous. Dagon words it better, though, right? <laughs> like, you know, like, yeah, I'm not as articulate as Dagon. Okay. <laughs> you know, know some sort of on guard. He's gonna like. He's just gonna look ridiculous. Um, okay. Okay. Let me try to do that. Just fucking do it, man. You got it. Uh, okay. So rapier. Oh. Oh no. That is a crit one. Okay. So well, let's uh, see if we're rolling on the table. <laughs> Might as well stab myself in the eye. <laughs> my wrist roll. breaks. Could you, could you roll a d6, please? I hit him, but uh, my wrist breaks, right? Okay. D6, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my I god. That this just fits invasion just so well. Oh my god. Oh, you rolled a one on that, too. So we're not rolling on the table. So you just crit miss. So you whip out this rapier and something happens. Something like... You, you either whip it out and it's like you're grasping the handle wrong or you're, you know, like it, it, is, it's completely ineffectual. This is just going to show that the people that let him win all the time uh, did him no favors because he's actually terrible at the only thing he knows how to do. All right. But like he thinks he's a like he thinks he's a master. So either these guys are just like, oh, my God, they're amazing. Or in, in that instant, he may be questioning his life right now. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. Just like shocked at him. Like, oh, oh, that usually works. So preppy bandit. Uh, Actually, can I, um, can I take my turn? Sure. Please. You want some popcorn or something? Or <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to go to the back and put some in the microwave. <laughs> that's, uh, that's a good use of food. Yeah. No, so um, I, cause, uh, cause Fenris got hit and immediately went down, right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So like, this is no longer just like I'm watching a burglary. I you mean, know, like this is becoming more serious than that. I didn't kill him. That's probably still not that unusual. I'm gonna be well, for pro- okay. Right. Well, <clears throat> him getting shot and going down is pretty extreme, but I do want to paint the picture. If we're putting uh, if we're putting extremity and tying that to numbers, 10 damage was done because someone walked up with a billy club and just hit him in the head over and over again. So, like, that's probably where you should have known that these guys were playing for keeps. Right. Um, so... <laughs> but, uh, I think... Uh, I think what Matilda would do is uh, turn to Calypso um, and say, can you just keep an eye on things for a second? 
And then she's going to run down, um, run downstairs and uh, if there's like an alternate exit, take that. And she's going to go try and tell the town guard what's going on. You mean like a bat pole or something or like just what? like, no. do, you, do, yes. do you mean just yes. run yes. out the side yes. door? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, I just mean run out the side door. <laughs> okay, cool. That's better. She slides okay. it out and then there's the automatic costume changing thing. And it's yeah, like, it's like, <laughs> then we find out like she's a secret badass that like uh, she's the commissioner's daughter. It's crazy. So that so let's say you just take off. So you're you're kind of down an alleyway, but you're you're off in a you know, you're you're adjacent to a, a main street. So like if you go into the main street and start shouting, right, that's you know, but that's going to be your next turn. So uh, preppy bandit <clears throat> uh, who I imagine just talks like like Pegasus from Yu-Gi-Oh, I don't know. Like I that's that's the that's the voice I picture. Or James from Pokemon, either one. Uh he is going to or Dagon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stab you, Yugi boy. Like he's really like Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> so he's gonna he's gonna <laughs> he too has a rapier. Uh and he's just going to wander up and try to swing at Dagon one time. Boom. Oh, fuck you. That'll do it. That'll do it. Uh, 22 will hit. Uh, and damage one time. Five damage. That's most of it. So, okay. Roleplay wise, this does make sense. Like, it does. It, It does make sense. It's not it's not unrealistic. It's just sadder that I think we wanted it to be for our first, you know, um, well, obviously we wanted to come out strong, but um, <clears throat> this is right, more but realistic. Like, I'm hoping for a miracle. What I didn't want to what I didn't want to simulate for three and a half or four months is the bully telling you he's going to kick your ass at 3 p.m. And you're just sitting there waiting while the bell fucking I mean, is going to ring. Like that's basically what happened. Yeah, I <laughs> know. I, uh, so that brings up that brings up Ian. Ian, you've been you've been taking this in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's been people sort of like rushing by this guy and sort of ignoring him largely. Just like, excuse me. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Pardon me. <laughs> um, I have two important questions. First of all, what is happening with the rat in my sack? <laughs> oh right! Excellent. I forgot about our mascot. <laughs> Not in your sack. Oh, it's yeah. So uh, we did make a roll. <clears throat> we, if you remember, hold on a second. He I can was pull like up halfway out, like still like wiggling to try and get the rest of the way out. I think like that. Yeah, was his the... his fat little rat. Yeah, butt, all I have is uh, was rat giving him trouble. In my but notes. <clears throat> uh, I'll give you the yeah, exact like date. Out. January 16th at 7 11 p.m. Uh, for the record, everybody out there, it is May 14th. Uh, so. Guys, last time we recorded, my cat was still alive. <laughs> oh, oh no. my god! That's the saddest. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> well, that's who we're missing, is our Thank mascot. You're laughing. <laughs> Da 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 da. <laughs> wow. 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 Uh, okay. Um, so, it, 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 I'm gonna have. I'm gonna. Dip. Let's have a rat roll. I think. Okay. <laughs> okay cool. What you want? <clears throat> so from this point on, so he's made a little hole, and it's like a burlap sack. But his like rats are rats are pear shaped. They're chunky at the bottom of their back. They're like guinea pigs that way. So like. He's trying to wriggle out the back. Uh, give me a D6 roll. And on a five or six, he's going to flop gotcha. out. Here you go. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a one keeping in the rest of the evening here. So you're going to feel it kind of dangle. Like your sack's going to swing back and forth just a little bit. Like you're going to feel like a tugging at it. Yeah. Got a little tug on that sack. Uh, yeah, so I, I, I guess first things first, I'm going to do real quick, just try and like, you know, like a quick adjust, like you might like 
adjust your pants in public or something, you know? You just got to real quick try and get that rat situated back up into the sack in a way that it's not going to be flopping around. You know what I mean? You don't want it. You don't want that. You don't want that thing flopping around. Send your fan art to <laughs> dandrpodcast at gmail.com. That's dandrpodcast at gmail.com. Um, and then next, like, I mean, these people have been largely ignoring me and just been stabbing and punching these two people that I've been <laughs> watching. And, and shooting. shooting. Two poor defenseless boys, I really. I don't like. think... <laughs> Yeah, like, I don't think that this is an uncommon sight, but I don't think that Thaden would just stand by and let this happen. Can, right. so can I talk to one of these? And by talk, I mean in his mind. And make it explode? Yes. Yeah, and I want to do it with, uh, <laughs> like, um, extreme prejudice, if that makes sense. So to paint a picture, it's not like scanners or something like it's, you know, uh, it's <laughs> it's so Thedans speak to each other uh, telepathically uh, and they're linked to each other in sort of a mental network. So instead of all of them having like a five meg upload speed, they have like fiber, all of them all the time. <laughs> so like they're constantly in commu That's the last one, Michael, I swear to God. So like mm -hmm. they're constantly in communication with each other. And when a Thaden kind of interacts with the outside world, they don't have mouths. So the first thing they go to do is like, oh, hey, fella. And it it is an invasive uh, feeling like it's like cold spaghetti on the brain and sometimes it just hurts it's it's also it's also a violation because you can hear thoughts in their head while you're connected to them so if you do this uh and it, it, you're 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 just kind of it's almost like a mental shout that's going to be disorienting uh and people are going to want to do anything to make that stop. So if they figure out what the hell's going on and they get a vague sense of where that's coming from, but not like in this situation, it's like, hey, it's the guy with no mouth and he's all bones and weird. Um, so like they'll probably figure it out. But yeah, like who you who you want to do this to with? I think I want to. I think I want to. OK, my thinking is that it's looking like dire straits for these two and there's nothing I can change about that but if I can stop any further violence from happening that's what I'm going to try and do um, and so so you're going to see what the other two bandits standing in front of the near corpses are going to do but fan out with the other ones maybe uh, I'm sorry saying that, say that again <laughs> <laughs> I was so it sounds like what you want to do is kind of do a little crowd control instead of focus on the two that are right next to Fenris and Dagon. Oh, I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Yeah, you make a you make a good point. Uh, I think I'll go to this one that beat poor Fenris to death. Um, almost almost to death. To death. Uh, and critical condition, I think they call yeah. it. I think I'm. I, I, I'll, I'll I'll move up to him, and I would like to have. I would like to say in his mind, in his own voice, to leave, and I'd like to accompany that with some images, and these images are of this Thaden taking both of his arms and twisting them until they break off. Ooh. Okay. That's gonna have to... A save, obviously, is gonna have to, like... We're gonna have to do something here. So, let's... What's your... What's your spell save, DC? Uh, I think... <clears throat> hang on. It's a DC, DC 13. 13. It's Thank right there. Thank you, yeah! How fucking spicy hot is that? Mwah. So, 
Uh, wisdom saving throw. Let's see what <laughs> these guys aren't very wise. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Saving throw. It's normal. Da 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 da. da. <gasps> oh, he rolled a two. Yeah. So <clears throat> he's standing there with this bloody club. And he is, he, you know, obviously Fenris is down and he's looking over to Dagon and Dagon's already shot. It's like, cool, easy pickings. And then the most horrific shit pops into his head. And I got to imagine he's like, he's going to stone cold, just stop and just like, it's probably going to be at the very least, like a real bad ice cream headache. So it's just like, fuck like that. So Anything he's going to do on his next turn is disadvantage. And uh, we'll take it from there. But like, again, he gets a vague sense that it's like, well, it's not the unconscious guy. And I don't think it's bleeding Joe Mm -hmm. over here. So he's probably going to start looking around and try to piece it together. He turns around and there's just this like lanky, covered in spikes, uh, half naked skull man. (laughs) It's like, well, it's not this dainty Eladrin. Is it Slenderman? <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's 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 something. Uh, it because a Thaden kind of resembles like, oh god, Slenderman, the gentleman from Buffy, Baraka from Mortal Kombat, all had a baby, uh, and no one wanted to keep it. Like, it's kind of that. Like, so we got one more bandit. In, in the group here. Uh, this is Baleful. He's Baleful, this bandit. <clears throat> and I guess... I guess he's going to fire a shot here with his light crossbow at the Thetan. Wow, that was all over the die. Uh, at 15. Yep, that hits... Okay, almost minimal damage though. That's only three. So here's what we're gonna do. <clears throat> uh, we got that. That's the end of round one. We're gonna jump over to round two here, and we're gonna re-roll for everybody. So get ready. This before I do this, I think you guys are in for some good luck. This is where it's all gonna turn Don't around. Say that. Not- it's- this is where it's all going to turn around. Also, that guy's going to get disadvantage on his uh, on on his initiative. And roll for everybody. Here it comes. Boop, 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 boop. <clears throat> all right. OK. I thought I got disadvantaged. Yeah. That's why he's down at the bottom, at least. Oh, fucking Matilda. Of course, Matilda. Matilda's dead last. So, preppy bandit. Mm. Uh, hey, wait, I got that dodge thing at least, right? Yeah, what? Oh, the you dodge. got do- Yes, 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 yes. So you get uh, he gets a negative two to his attack against I'm you. I'm assuming That's you're fantastic. attacking me. Yes, he is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. He's gonna. <laughs> Why don't you fall down? Like he's going to be like he's he's a little outraged. You didn't. Uh, negative two. Ba, 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 ba. Eh, eh. Okay, but he still rolls a fourteen. That's a fifteen. Anything okay. he rolls oh, is is like, going yeah. to. That hits. Uh. That had the negative two. Oh my god. Okay. All right. I'm going to go to sleep now. Oh, it doesn't kill you outright, though. Doesn't kill you well, outright. <laughs> let's be happy for that. <laughs> it's it's a possibility. Like, I don't want it to be. Uh, Baleful is, is going to walk up here and uh, swing at the monster, at the Thetan. He sees it as a monster. Um, oh, God. So technically, he would have advantage because he's flanking. Oh, but does he have a minus two also? No. No? 
This is the bandit behind you, not the one you went spaghetti brained. But he's adjacent to me, right? Isn't it adjacent? Oh, yes. Okay. He has a negative two to the attack, but that doesn't stop a crit. I see. Got it. Yes. So I'm sorry. I, I was confused. Um, uh, I, so he got a crit, right? He, he did. Happened. He did get a crit. Yes. Okay, cool. I'm going to use my reaction to use from the window. Spell. Hmm? Oh, yeah. What's the range on it? Uh, it's, it's 60 feet. Uh, okay, so hold on. Five, that, 10, I don't know how we're 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Mm. You're a good 20 feet short. Oh, huh. okay. Unless you want to jump out of the window. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes. Okay, well, never mind. Can't do anything. So. Sorry. Okay. Uh, we are going to roll on that crit table, guys. I use the rat as a shield. What's going to happen is that rat is going to nibble on your face when you're unconscious and you're going to become a rat man. <laughs> How many extra uh, fervor points does that get me? <laughs> Um, you get all the powers of a rat, specifically pizza rat. <laughs> like you're going to get all the like. All right, here we go. This is a crit. Uh -huh. OK, seven <clears throat> Perry. In addition to standard critical hit damage to your target, you gain a plus two to your AC against attacks from the target until the end of your next turn. That's not as bad as it could have been, but now we got to roll that damage, which sucks. Uh, damage critical. Oh, shit, that's OK. He only did four Hachi, damage. Machi. That's still not great. That's still not great. It's not amazing. Yeah, but Jesus, for critical damage. That's not bad. That brings up Dagon. Dagon. Hmm. Can I get a death saving throw, please? There you go. Okay, that's one fail. Uh. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you are up, Ian. <clears throat> well, this is looking bad for the Thaden, and it's looking bad for these two people that Dave knifed and bludgeoned. So. You, you don't know us anything. That's funny. No, I don't. But. <laughs> <laughs> don't. Thaden doesn't like to see just people getting slaughtered. So I think he's. I think he's been in situations like this before. And they're starting to hit him now. They're starting to attack him. And he doesn't have shit on him. So he's going to offer the only thing of value that he does have. And that's this rat. Um, and in that guy's own voice, he's going to hear stop. And um, he's going to get the sensation of uh, like um, uh, giving up or what do you call it? Ra waving the Depression? white flag. Waving the white, no, Surrender. waving the white flag. Surrender, Surrender. thank you. Surrender. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Depression. <laughs> well, <laughs> <laughs> they go hand in hand, don't they? Yeah, I, I mean, it's yeah, like, I guess and oh, depression. Yeah, it can be two things. It can be two things. <laughs> But he's, he's he's going to hold up the 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 thing of value that he has on him, which is this rat in a bag. Okay, so we're gonna eat up your second fervor point. Um, and oh, for I'm the gonna talking. say, okay, got it. Yeah, just to like get in his brain. So let's do this. Let's um, uh, give me a persuasion check or an intimidation, like whatever you like. If it's if it's just like, hey, here's a rat. Like you're trying to offer up some kind of like. Like a bargaining chip, like a mm -hmm. bargaining rodent. Peace offer. Yeah, it's. I want to roll intimidation, but I don't think it's intimidation. I think it's. Yeah, I'll do. I'll do persuasion. 
Uh, here we go. Oh. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. That's pretty good. 21? Yeah. Fuck, that's 21. So, while he's very much not going to enjoy the the Cthulian tentacles in his brain, he's he's going to get, like, the gist of it and just kind of like, oh, well, get out of here. Get out of here. Like, just kind of like, you don't look like you have shit on you, and I don't want your fucking yeah. rat. <laughs> Like you, it's it's basically like get out of here. So out of you head. have the opportunity to, yeah, just get out of there if you want, and you take no opportunity, uh, no uh, attacks of opportunity, just because like, yeah, yeah. So I'm not gonna, I'm not leaving the scene yet, but I, I, I am going to back up, yeah, and just be like, like hands up, like stepping. I don't know these guys <laughs> exactly. Like, yeah. So yeah, okay. Uh, so. Fenris, can I get a death saving throw, please? Sure. <laughs> hey. Whew, one success. Good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, Calypso. I mean, there's not really anything I can do, so. Like, That's <laughs> fair. Okay. I didn't realize that I was going to be out of range, so. Nope. You left the battle and didn't realize you were going to be out of range. <laughs> I mean, the way it was sort of like a balcony overlooking the stuff. I'm just trying to follow the logic. Also, I'm just trying to follow the logic. Uh, honestly, like at this point, the best thing to do is probably just I like, let them take Dacon's shit and leave. Totally. <laughs> like, I totally understand. Like, what, what is the point if I like throw like a healing word at, like at, at Fenris and he's going to get it with two hit points and just get knocked out again? Like, there's not really much at this point. I'm yeah, just I, lovingly, I lovingly busting those balls. Just mm. lovingly. Are they trying to bust the fry? Busting makes me I feel good. I have no idea. <laughs> Running back inside the building I came from and going up a flight of stairs <laughs> would affect the range of my attack acts and abilities huh. no idea huh. Huh. so much should write that down in like a handbook of some sort and then like <laughs> distribute it Again. i want to i want also say the thaden totally clocks someone coming out of the library and then turning back around and leaving it going back <laughs> in <laughs> i yeah the calypso doesn't give a shit Again. i'm totally fine <laughs> probably the smartest move um, yeah like look what happened there so <laughs> These two are down and uh, we got two. We got a bandit and two thugs going. So here's what we're going to do. <clears throat> Matilda is dead last, sadly, but Matilda is going to scream and that is going to alert these thugs and guards nearby and they're going to get ready and try and take off. But what we're going to do is I'm going to roll a D20 with a plus three, uh, the plus three representing the three bandits that were going to take their turns. Uh, and they're going to rifle through your stuff and grab what they can as fast as they can. Uh, and that would be Fenris and Dagon. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so it's all Dagon stuff because I don't think Fenris had much on him. Well, Fenris was holding Dagon. the Dagon stuff. So yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like yeah. <laughs> so I mean, they can they can D twenty yeah. plus three. Uh, ten. So okay. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like we're going to we're going to kind of like they, they get like in this instance, it's like they're going to grab your wallet. They're going to grab like the things that would be of the most obvious value. Right. It's like there's your coin pouch. There's your you know, but they're not going to take your shoes or anything. They're not going to take like your your rapier. They're not going to, you know, that kind of stuff that would be like, even though it's probably fancy, it's like, yeah, whatever. I don't have time to pawn or hawk any of this stuff like i just want yeah. gold i just Pawning want used shoes is a bit <laughs> it's it's yeah but that means that as they're grabbing stuff they're gonna hear matilda like screaming down like from from down the alley uh and and out into the street and they're like oh shit like they're they're gonna get ready and take off so no one's dead just worse for wear against the wound like trying to trying to do first aid simple first aid so i want you guys to know that um some some money and goods were taken we'll get into that uh the good news is i'm working on fixing the D, &D economy so 
uh, I, I, I think I have a system in place. Your gold is going to mean more. It's going to go further in, in mm. this world. Um, it, it, this is, this is good. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna fix the economy. I don't know why people don't just do that. It's fucking, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so the, does that just, mean their uh, gold is worth more? So they got more robbed? <laughs> well, that's a way to look <laughs> at it. Like, yeah, the gold's worth more, but it's gone. So yeah, like that's, that's just inflation. Um, think of it <laughs> as gas right. money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What I'm, I mean, future gold is going to mean more. Not that gold. That gold gone. Future gold, gold though is going to mean yeah. that was. <laughs> so. Also, did you say the cops are coming? Well, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to try and stabilize them, but as soon as they're cops, uh, I'm I'm piecing out. Because you have prior, you need to get out of here. Well, it doesn't look great to have a big, scary monster and then two bodies on the ground. You know what I mean? Like that <laughs> doesn't oh. look good. So I'm well, gonna do what I can here, either. and then that's true. It's yeah. I'm gonna get out before Johnny Law shows up. Uh. I get that there are witnesses, but like let's 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 operate on the premise. Can I get a medicine check? Uh, can I get you to let's do one for? F well, okay, who do you who do you try and stabilize first? Who looks who worse? Went down, in, in, who went down first? Yeah, yeah. Who looks worse? D D Dagon got the worst of it. Dagon looks like I feel if like I his maybe, ears probably yeah. hanging by a thread. One okay, <laughs> I th Dagon looks like. No one's ever frowned at Dagon. Dagon doesn't. <laughs> Dagon, he looks. He is a. He is a. He is a freshly pressed suit, somehow sentient. It's just and... a, little, a little lad who loves berries and cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now he's so, like a very ripe this, banana. <laughs> this is yeah. a beautiful orchid that has been trampled in the street and. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like he's wearing that 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 Austin Powers crushed velvet with a cravat like coming <laughs> like that's what I picture. I know that's not accurate, but I don't care. Like <laughs> it's just a fabric that soaks up blood really well. So yeah, probably Dagon. Okay, then I'll 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 do I'll definitely try and do Dagon first. Um sorry James, my medicine isn't great. <laughs> that's okay. Oh what? man! It was a 15 so, almost. So, so you know how when you get like shot with like an arrow or a crossbow bolt, you aren't supposed to pull it out. <laughs> like that's what you don't want to do. <laughs> so well, maybe I have light. pulled it out. Yeah. I picture, I, I, I don't I know. picture it's like, well, good, what? right? A five is good five? typically in D and D. <laughs> with a five, I don't, I don't think he did any more harm. Um, okay. I, I think it's like, I think with a five, there's two things you know for sure, and that's just chest compressions. You know that whether <laughs> whether it's a concussion or being shot, it's a oh, oh, and then move the neck around really really fast. Like that's oh, the no, two things it's you so, know. So, so good yes. because like like non thetans have different biology, so this is probably <laughs> just like you don't know for, if you're like okay, you're supposed to do this and move the head yes. around. Like that's what gets like normal vertebrates up and running, right? We, we yeah, have to we works. have to realign <laughs> the spikes, and the spikes are <laughs> somewhere so in there. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta yeah, yeah. you gotta lean down and blow into his chest, okay, so it's so just a <laughs> raspberry. So Dagon's <laughs> more dead now. <laughs> that's you're what it is. Less is dead. Dead. I, the the Thaden is trying to do CPR on him, <laughs> just full. without a mouth. <laughs> trying, yeah, without a mouth. <laughs> uh, can I get one for Fenris? Maybe maybe Fenris is Fenris will come around a little better. Yes, yes. Um, so that looks like a lost cause, unfortunately. Can you hear this car alarm that's going off? Yes. Absolutely, we can hear that car alarm. I don't care. Keep going. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna close. I'm it's gonna see if I can. Hold on, let me let me see if I can close the window. I don't hear the car alarm. I don't I hear absolutely, it. I do. It's but trust me, it's so coming quiet. through. Everyone's so quiet. I think these headphones like suck or something. Uh, Valerie, you know that there's nope, something. No, the window you're, is you're, closed. You're, you're turn the volume up. <laughs> I, it's all it'll, the way it'll, up. It'll, what? 
that's not good. Yeah. Mm. Uh, so what I neglected I will just... to mention. What I neglected to mention was um, the Warforged are out and about and they have metallic horses um, and every three seconds, uh, the metallic <laughs> horses make a sound like ah! every once in a while, just to it's the everything's OK alarm. So they kind of ride through the streets of Brightport. That was, it come um, out their butts, so it's like they're farting. Yeah, <laughs> like every couple of seconds, just to- <laughs> Consider this ramping up the tension. Okay, I'll do this. I'll do this uh, another. You're taking uh, us there. Yeah, here we go. Not another medicine roll. Hey. Well, it's better than five. That will uh, that'll stabilize Fenris. So if you're gonna stop the bleeding or him drooling or whatever was happening. Uh, but like, yeah, Fenris, Fenris looks like he's probably been beaten up once or twice before. He looks like he looks like he's from here. You know what I mean? Like he like he's probably grifted the wrong person or welched on a barbet or something. Uh, but yes, he has learned the hard way, probably uh, Dagon. This is probably his first lesson. So you're going to hear pots and pans running down the street. Um, and uh, it's going to be three guards. Um, and the one in the front is <clears throat> uh, looks like a half elf, um, really tight braided hair coming down, um, uh, coming down the, the back of his head. And it's kind of like whipping around as he's rounding the corner and he's running up and he's just pissed. He's like, God. God damn it. Like, just tell, like, he's he's going to get down and he's going to tell the other two. It's like, go find him. Get, and just. Do you still want to run? Uh, yeah, I, I'm out. I'm out of there. I'm gone. OK, <laughs> I lay I Can lay I Fenris. <laughs> I, I, I lay Fenris down gently. And uh, yeah, when I hear pots and pans, I I just sort of like make check the alleyway and and step away. Can I get an athletics check, please? Yeah. Whoa. All right. 16. Sweet. I'm going to have these two guards roll in a minute, but like this is just like I I, what I'm hoping to avoid is the mix up. You know what I mean? Uh, Because you can't even say it was broken when I got there because you got no mouth. So uh, the, the, the so this guy's going to going to bend down here and um, he's going to I imagine Matilda's there, too. Yeah, I'm sure like the guards are running and then I was behind them, like running as well, like as if I'm one of them. Like, yeah, we're going to get these guys. <laughs> it's, it's just me. It's just me going. I mean, you you kind of you you basically made a citizen's arrest, right? You know, like yeah, you, yeah. Um, but I, it's it's probably a good thing. Otherwise, best case scenario, you guys would have no possessions. Um, as it stands now, a couple of you have less possessions. So, mm-hmm. uh, so this guard is going to reach into his pack, and he's got this little uh this little vial of of red liquid. And he's going to reach for Dagon first. Um, and I, he it looks like he has money uh, and it looks like he might be the son of someone important. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Fenris <laughs> looks like he's stabilized. I imagine <clears throat> at this point, Dagon is just sputtering blood every once in a while. Just yeah, <laughs> just, yeah it's so he's going to he's going to kind of like tilt your head back and like pour this red liquid uh, down your throat and just kind of like just kind of like massage your throat so because it would be terrible if he tried to feed you a healing potion and then you choked to death that would just be ironic <laughs> so he's trying to make sure that like you know and I'm not going to have you like roll to swallow that <laughs> we're gonna <laughs> uh, that's going to be part of our theory after dark section in that the is a different meeting. encounter that is for later oh that is for later in the city that's why the, don't I have that I'm, skill on my sheet 
<laughs> that, that's well, that's a level be four. If you're interested in roles such as these, you can purchase uh, Life Until More. <laughs> I feel like I gotta try that next time. <laughs> Could have stopped this fight way sooner. So, <laughs> so uh, th- th- this this is gonna. I'm gonna I'm gonna roll a D4 because this is just like a this is like a super minor minor healing potion. It's just to kind of like you know. Uh, stabilize. Just kind of stabilize you. Yeah, get you back up. Uh, four hit points? That's like most of Dagon's health. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's three quarters for sure. <laughs> yeah. It really is. It really is. Uh, so New Amvin is is conscious, is, is with the world again. Um, <laughs> as you're as you're like coming around, he's like, "All right," and he's going to scramble over to Fenris to make sure that that uh, that he's okay. And the entire time, he's he's going to be like looking for Matilda. It's like, it, was this was this all of them? What what else happened? Because he oh, probably no. knows you from the neighborhood. Like he, right. he probably you know. Yeah. Um. She'll say. Yeah, there was a couple more guys here. It seems like they ran off. I don't know. I just ran to get you guys. I need to know how this guy, like, on a scale of one to Karen, not our Karen, Karen meme, where does... Where does Matilda fall? So give me a D10, please. A one, you're, they barely know you. It's like, yeah, yeah, I know you own, uh, so you do something with books. That's great. But like a 10, you you call them every day. Like it is, <laughs> okay. like, like that might be why they don't patrol in this particular out. So cool. two, like okay. they've probably had to swing by your shop once, maybe twice before. And like, probably got filed to the bottom. It's like they stole a book. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, they oh. did. <laughs> all right. Okay. Um, all right. Well, we'll do our best and then you never see them again. So <laughs> right, right. <laughs> could you describe this book? Uh-huh. Square. Oh, uh-huh. yep. Uh-huh. And then they give you a sketch and it's like, does this look like your book? And then they post a couple of posters. <laughs> <laughs> the book falls out of my pack. <laughs> <laughs> the great library bandit has done it again. Uh, so he's he's gonna he's gonna, it's like all, all right, just just stay here. I'm gonna have some questions for you. But the oh, he seems really frustrated, like Aww. like almost scared. Like a little bit. There's a there's a tinge of like, oh god, like he like something really screwed up. <sighs> um, and uh, he's gonna do the same thing for Fenris. Uh, so let's get a little D four, a little D four for the Fen one. Well, okay, that's how it goes. The rich got four times more than you, so <laughs> Fenris just <laughs> needs enough. Yeah. Hey, sorry, go on. Well, the, the problem is James's Canadian insurance is <laughs> influencing the game of D and D, so he gets way better God, coverage it's than too you. Too real, too uh, real. I want to say also he's he going to charge you two hundred gold. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> then, then I have to get put on a payment plan, but then there's like interest, so then I'm never really out of the hole. <laughs> Don't worry, they'll send it to a collection agency, but it doesn't affect your credit because everyone has medical debt and it's fine. It's fine. Exactly. I'm on the Brightport plan. Uh, <laughs> that can't be uh, good. I want to say like maybe maybe I've even like been healed or like been maybe not like, like where uh, these guards or whatever. Like so this is the first time they've had to pick me up. I mean, maybe like sometimes I'm the good guy. I get the one getting hurt, and sometimes I'm the, like, "What are you doing here?" But never like actually. It's all of the same guys, or like, because I'm, I'm still coming up in the area, but I'm not well known. But obviously, I've do been you, fallen a few times. Do you want to roll to yeah. see? Yeah. Do you want to? Yeah. So I don't know what 
I, so not a Karen, but you know, like it, the, the, we're basically doing the same thing. One to 10, like 10 being, <laughs> yeah, like 10, it might loop back around to like, oh, you know, sleazy Pete, like that kind of thing where it's like, you're, <laughs> it's almost endearing where it's like, why did they pick <laughs> you up this time? Uh, but yeah, give me, give me a, a seven. You're just a pain in the ass. Yeah. Okay. So you're a pain in the ass. Uh -oh. So, Sounds about so right. you're going to know this guy actually. Uh, so yeah, let me give you a little backstory then, because you would know this. The, the guards in Brightport have always had a tough time and they've always been stretched too thin and there's not enough guards electing to do this job, getting paid enough, blah, 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 blah. big city. Uh, recently though, uh, there have been robots, uh, taking over portions of the city, not taking over as in forcefully like watching over. So there's a bit of a peaceful truce right now because Brightport mayoral elections are underway and you've got a few different groups vying for this type of power. Um, one of them is Paxtron, um, a former, uh, it, it's kind of rumored that he, he died a Brightport hero and was resurrected to, to look over the city. Um, don't look into that story. It's kind of true. Uh, so, <laughs> Yeah, I think there are a few other different stories running around that might paint this. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, that's why you run uh, smear campaigns. So the, the so they're kind of breaking things up, but Paxtron has threatened to take the guard completely out of the situation. And what they're doing is fighting to kind of keep their spot. They're still stretched too thin. So when something like this happens, it's seen very poorly. Uh, it's them. They can't keep up with this job. Their their need to eat and sleep and get distracted is is surely doing more harm than good. And what you need is an unblinking red eyed servant of the city standing two floors up watching you at all times. So that's probably why this guard is frustrated. Um, uh, his name is Gallandad and uh, half elf guy, uh, he's he's worked his way up in the town guard, but he's not like a big muckety muck. He's more just he has just enough responsibility to be the guy who gets in trouble a lot. So, Aww. yeah. Gallon dad. Gallon dad. Yeah. Why see him <laughs> say, hey, G. That's probably why he gave you one. Like he just went <laughs> bloop, and that's it. Like just <laughs> I'm surprised. I, I am shocked he just didn't call him dad because that's what I would have done. <laughs> uh, he's you got to imagine he's heard it all. Like yeah, 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 yeah. this poor guy, like in half elf society, it's like, what? That's a great name. Yeah, my name's Lacey. Why is that a bad name for a guy? And it's like, you know, he got the shit kicked out of him in school. It's not cool, but like, you know, uh, no half orc is going to, you know, respect him in the city. Uh, so he's he's going to make sure you're OK and just barely. It's like, what did you have to do with this? Well, since our last encounter, I've, uh, you know, gone straight and narrow, and I was just helping this young lord make it to the destination. So I was just leading him to uh, where he needed to go. I was trying to make some, make some extra coin. Can I see how many days it was since your last encounter? <laughs> Ooh, sure. <laughs> Can I get another D10 from you? <laughs> okay. Please roll a one. Ah, oh, seven. It was almost a one. <laughs> yeah, so it's been one week. So he's listening. I feel like you don't even need to roll a deception or anything. Like, there's no point. <laughs> he's got a reputation. Yeah, I mean, with an eight, the guy, it's like, you're probably stealing my wallet right now. Like, it's just... Like <laughs> <laughs> so he's... He's, he, he's just trying to... He's making sure it's like... 
so these guys just jumped you for no good reason. You had nothing to do with with this. And th- and he's going to he's going to like he's kind of crouched down between the two of you. And he's going to look over and who's whose son is this? Who's who who in the manor houses owns this? Why is he here? <laughs> I don't know, but he obviously <laughs> needed assistance because he just came off the one of the ships and was looking for one of the houses. James, that was Dragon Keep, right? That's mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember three months ago. Yeah, <clears throat> he needed escort to Dragon's Keep, and so I said sure so it was coin i can take you there and obviously looking at him he you know is shiny and kind of showing not like i don't know how reflective it is now but uh, <laughs> i figured needed a little bit of uh well then i thought if my eye was around him he would be picked and i leave it at that he wants to ask so many more questions, but it's like, all right, where's Calypso? Um, Calypso, when the guards showed up, kind of would have um, like backed like they're still on the balcony, I think, but would have like just Homer like, Simpson like, into the bush. Like, yeah. you just kind of, like OK, cool. Like, just like, like, <laughs> like, so, Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just like don't, like it, it's not like they have like any like negative relations or anything. Just like I just don't want to deal with that, and it's it's just not something where you like super need like a witness for. They wouldn't be able to provide any important information or anything. They're just gonna not deal with any of that whole thing. <laughs> That's fair. You know. So if Matilda's nearby, <clears throat> um, he's he's gonna call over to her. Uh, did, can you help me get him up and and walk him over to the cleric? They're kind of in like, let's go the extra mile mode now because it's like, okay, we couldn't prevent the crime. Let's at the very least, like, it's like, oh God, let's, let's at least get you patched up so that you're not bleeding all over. It looks bad. Uh, is it, is it, Dag- is, I assume Dagon's still kind of unconscious here. I would, you're, 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 coming too because like you i mean you just regained three quarters of your health so okay okay i didn't know if he was like actually uh awake or not i i would imagine the shock of it is like you know what i mean like you're not used to being struck or stabbed or shot or whatever the real shock is like look at all that blood on his clothes his jacket's ruined (laughs) as he's coming to he's he's gonna be kind of mumbling and be like uh, mommy, read me the good story. The one about me. <laughs> what about me? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then, and he's, look. <clears throat> he's going to so so Galadad is gonna get behind and start to like prop him up to like sit him up and and wave Matilda over to like help me help me pick him up. And he's gonna be he's gonna be staring daggers. At Fenris, it's like, why did you take him to this part of the city? Like, just like, why is he here? Like, he could, got so he's he's gonna he's gonna with Matilda just kind of like stand him up. It's like, okay, buddy, we're gonna you're fine, you're fine, you're fine. Kind of like reaching, like he's he's got you. Like it's like lean on my shoulder here, and he's gonna like smack on your cheek a little bit with the other one. It's like, oh, okay, let's get you up. <sighs> So you're gonna say something about how I can bench press and then it cut off. What what can I bench press? The answer is nothing. Dagon. So I'm very confused about what the answer, <laughs> what you Dagon. were gonna say. Uh, I can Dagon. bench press Dagon. I've yeah, been he's... bench pressed. Does that count for something? Th- that's well, about the realm that Dagon is in. <laughs> yeah, like he's 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 mostly fine <clears throat> garments. Like he's he's mostly made of silk. <laughs> so. Um, <laughs> he's very svelte. Oh, that's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever used that word before. Uh, I, we would we would call him a twink. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I'm classified as a twonk. Uh, if if that you know. <laughs> um, 
So here's here's what we're gonna do. I need to to roll athletics for these guards to see if like they're anywhere near. And here's what here's here's the thing. You rolled a sixteen. Fantastic. As long as they don't roll a sixteen or higher, we're just gonna we're just gonna. It's like they ran a different way, or you ran faster, or whatever, right? Um. So. They have a plus two to athletics because they get out there. You know, they're they're doing their thing. So uh, they're bench left bench lifting Dagons. They, right they left. are. They're just <laughs> uh, so as just long as in their backpack. So 14, 14 is their total. So they are not that it's probably comes close. And you're like, Meh. like you just like duck down an alley or something like that. So you're fine. Um, but uh, as as Galadad and and Matilda take uh, take Dagon here over to the cleric, uh, he's gonna make sure it's like Fenris, come on, like he's gonna make sure, like he's it's like ep, 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 ep. like j- like he already <laughs> knows it's like you're you're just like fading into it's like no no yep. no yeah he's gonna do the eye thing mm, like he's yeah. I, I gotta make sure I, I get paid this for this uh, escort, and I, I, I act like that was my intent, you know, all, all along as I step back to where I was towards the cards. Uh, when they get to the church here, um, they're waiting. They're waiting for a cleric, uh, and as you can imagine, in Brightport, in this particular type of neighborhood, there's a backlog. Not like a COVID backlog, but a backlog. <laughs> so you're gonna you're gonna have to wait, right? So you're you're sitting there, and he's gonna he's gonna like crouch down. He's like, "Son, are you okay? How many fingers am I holding up?" <clears throat> Daddy. <laughs> no, I'm. I'm Officer Thrask. I, I'm afraid we got to the scene a little bit late. We were dealing with something else. But you're, you're, what, what's your name? Mm. <clears throat> Dagon. Okay. Um, and he's gonna, he's gonna look over to Fenris. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, okay. Uh, you have been involved in an event, and I cannot apologize enough. That is not indicative of this city or how we run things. But um, we're going to get you patched up here. Faces the other way to not like make it like a face totally obvious. So he's just like, "Wow, look at the, that tapestry. That's a that's a wonderful tapestry." <laughs> to like totally he's probably not. yeah he's probably gonna like like i almost feel like you guys know each other well enough at this <laughs> point it's almost like a Catwoman batman thing without all that sexual tension in there or maybe i don't know <laughs> or maybe but like uh, yeah. or maybe <laughs> send your fan art to <laughs> the andr podcast at gmail.com uh we'll let the audience decide <laughs> Uh, so I, 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 this is probably, he's, he's kind of like gives one of those hats, like, shut up, like just one of those. And then he's, he's it's like, can, can I, can I get you anything? Do, do you have two boots when you came into the city or was this a look that is popular where you come from? Um, <clears throat> And I guess during this, he's slowly, slowly coming to and, and you know, understanding his surroundings. Uh, of course I had two boots. Where are my things? Well, uh, we we picked up your your bag, but it was um, <clears throat> it was. Let's focus on what you have on you, because they they it, you you still have this very fancy looking sword. Congratulations on that. That looks uh, that 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 you must be very proud. Uh, is there someone we can contact for you? Is there is it, where are you from? 
What do you mean, where am I from? Where where do you come from? Where where are you? Well, obviously I'm from Odyssea. There's gonna be like it's like oh fuck. <laughs> I uh I I'm sorry, I thought you were Elvin. Uh, I'm 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 guessing I'm guessing you're you're an Aladrin then. Well, of course I'm an Aladrin. He's gonna he's gonna stand up. Do you know my parents are gonna hear about this? <laughs> I, I understand, <laughs> sir. Please just give me a moment. Please just. One moment, and he's going to... Arkenscape is my father. Mm, mm, he's going to hold up like one finger, just and he's backing up, and he's going to grab Fenris, like by the collar, and like pull him over. Did you know he was a fucking Aladrin when you took him down that alley? Like very, it's like a couple's argument. It's it's really <laughs> like he's just speaking through his teeth, and it's like I can't yell at you, but I need to make it clear. Like it's you know, uh, it was never actually stated, but he did have the arrogance. I didn't assume either way. You know, either maybe a proud Elven or maybe, but no, he just needed to be taken to a place, and uh, I thought the odds were good that I. Get him there. Okay. Well, now we have a problem here because this bleeding little simp is going to run and tell his parents and we're going to have an entire incident. Do you want a bunch of Aladrin coming into this city? We already have problems with them and own a call. I don't even know which one he is. So we're going to have a bunch of them coming in here and... What we need to do is we need to find the people who did this to you and get his things back. And he's going to he's going to kind of look over at Matilda and smile. It's like, could you come here? Just just one second, please. <laughs> Matilda will come over. If. If we sat you down, could you give us a description of what the assailants looked like? A detailed description. I think like, so. And I know there was someone else uh, with me in the library, and they would probably be able to help as well. Okay. All right. Well, okay. Whatever gives us the best chance. Uh, excuse me, sir. We are uh, w we're coming up with a plan of attack here. We just need to make sure that it's going to be 100% effective. I know nothing less would do for you. But uh, here's the fucking thing. I don't want this guy to send a message to his mommy. He literally calls her mommy. Do you know what type of person calls their mother mommy? You think his same family would be just as effective here? Like, we could all escort them together, you know, to try and keep... He's going to ta tap the guard on the shoulder. Fetch me a pen and paper. Quill. Yeah, that'd be, yeah. Um, all right. Uh... I I'll I'll go get that. Just uh, just please have a seat, um, and uh, I'm sure a cleric will be by any moment. And as he's getting ready to to go get this pen and paper, he's he's gonna look at Fenris, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> like just it's like he's so fucked. Like this is so bad. <laughs> like, this whole thing is terrible. <laughs> Did you know there's practically no crime in Odyssea? <laughs> what kind of city is this? It's a city of opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> he, 
he's he's going to go and he's going to get you uh, some quill and parchment and kind of like set the the ink and everything down on on a pew. And he's like, OK, there's this. This should be this should be great. Uh, can I ask uh, what you're writing? I'm writing to my mother, of course. Right. Of does, course. Does Dagon know how to send a letter? I mean, I would imagine. <laughs> Where like, are your carrier pigeons? <laughs> I would imagine, <laughs> yeah. He's so he's he's going to go, of course, and then he's going to knock the ink over onto the parchment. He's like, I my gods, I am so clumsy. I'm sorry. I'll get that. So we don't want that to spill and ruin your clothing here. Your cravat will get moistened. So his cravat which already has like blood yeah, stains. Yes. <laughs> yeah. He's he's gonna turn. Matilda, I trust you more than him. Can you and Fenris please go find this other person and meet me back here when, when, whenever possible, as quickly as possible, please. Thank you. I'm just gonna have that like, like shifty. I like kind of thought. He like looks at like the door, looks at the guards, because I assume it's hit, and I'm sure G is probably locked on me as well to make sure I don't. Yeah, I think now it's like, OK, we need to lock this Dagon guy down and make sure he has armed guards with him, at least for the duration of the day. So he's going to he's going to send Matilda with you. It's like, just keep an eye on. Actually, you know what? Hold on. I have and he's a gonna library to run. I know. I, I'll reimburse you for the time you're missing, but here. And he's going to hand you a gun. He's going to hand you a small... He's going to hand you like a small... uh, Like a hand crossbow. And he's like, if he tries to get away, shoot him. Just shoot him. Don't ask him. Aim for the neck. (laughs) Yeah. It's like, here you go. And he's like, normally, normally, he's much more of a by the book guy, but he's like, no, shoot him in the neck. Like if he tries to run, just down him. And we're, we're talking about Fenris? Yes. We're talking about Fresk. That's what I... <laughs> <laughs> Just shoot me in the neck, please. Sir, someone has to watch the library. He is going to to turn. And the, the other guard that wandered in after a while, it's like, I want you to go to the West Side Library, and I want you to stand guard. If anyone tries to read a book, shoot them too. Okay, ma'am? Is that good? <laughs> this is a man at the end of his tether. Like, he's so... Like, <laughs> Somebody please let this guy take a nap. Please. <laughs> okay. He tries to keep so up with gonna... the robot, so he pushes himself so much. That's so like, okay. Around. Just back away. <laughs> <laughs> Moments later, <laughs> just across town, uh, like little old woman is like, hello, I have come to return a book. <laughs> 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 so funny, so like, like, to me, like to Calypso, like the obvious solution is like, this, this guy is clearly like, the dragon keeps problems. Drop them off there. Let them handle it. And he's just like, no, no, we have to do this to take care of this. All it's so good. Like it's never even been established. It's like, does this? Yeah. Do they even know you're coming? Do they know who you are? Like you're fresh in town. What? You're on the different side of the city. How did you? It's north. It's north from the docks. Like you know, yeah. Also, like. I don't know how much power the new Aladdin have in the modern day anymore. It's well, like... it's, it's here's the thing. It's really complicated. So get yeah. ready. Yeah. Uh, okay. Hi, everybody out there who haven't listened to the other arcs, but did jump on at arc five. I'm going to break this down for you. So in the beginning, uh, there were the Eladrin, and the Eladrin got locked away about a century ago, almost. Uh, and eventually they were freed. Uh, Dagon classic uh, was the last remaining Eladrin, um, but then his mom knifed him in the back. There's yet a good reason. 
Um, he kind of went mad with power, but what he wanted to do was steal an artifact to bring the old Odyssea back. So it sort of made clones um, uh, just kind of uh, magical copies of everyone that was in Odyssea, their, their home city, when they originally disappeared. So what you got is a young Dagon who has no memories of anything that happened in the century that he was missing. Meanwhile, the original Aladrin took over a city called Onakal in the far south in the desert. And uh, Brightport actually helped them get back on their feet. And then when they were back on their feet, they cut all ties with Brightport and refused to pay them back. Kind of dicks. Uh, that pretty much catches you up. Uh, to to what we have going on here. So the original Aladrin do have some pull in the city, but mostly because they have a lot of debt. Um, and uh, the, the, they so it, it, they're not probably in a big rush to, um, to to make friends with the Aladrin, although it really would put the screws to the Aladrin classic if their copies started getting business opportunities that they don't have access to. Kind of a big fuck you. So like, that's a 4D chess move. We'll see what happens. But first we got to get him there alive. So what we're going to do uh, is we're going to check in real quick with the Thaden. Where did you go after you kind of snuck away from the guards? You're a man with no mouth and a bag full of rat in a big city. What are we doing? <laughs> I think he goes back to the alley he's been living in and he's just he just goes back there to check in and see if there's anyone there um, that he knows he's been I mean he's been in Brightport for a while and it's been difficult to get out and it's been difficult to get out from under like having to just survive in a city that he doesn't know. So yeah, he's just he's found some solace in a comfort in a in a familiar uh, or in an alley that he frequents, and I think he's just gonna go there and see if it's safe, um, see if there's people that he trusts around, and try and snack on a rat. Mm. I'm gonna need two things from you. This is gonna sound weird for just a second, but ride with me on this. On a scale of one to ten, how nice is the alleyway you're living in? Now, that sounds weird, but there's a big difference between like sewer stink IP in this alley next to the bar on the west side. That's terrible. Or like maybe you managed to like because you wouldn't know, right? Like maybe you just managed to stow away next to like a rich neighborhood somewhere in an alley. So like you might be squatting behind one of these manor houses and like no one thought to look for vagrants because like <laughs> who would do, would do that? God. So uh, if you would be so kind as to give me a D10. Oh, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, if it was a nice alley, it may not be a nice alley right now. Well, that's so like, <laughs> Yeah, that's it's it's a decent alley. So you're probably near the market district. So like you can you can get like scraps of like bread and like, you know, things like that. There's there's samples of like fruits and meat and stuff like that. There's there's always stuff going on. So um, they would probably cotton onto you. But most people in the market district are kind of nice. So like if like the you know if the the people selling breakfast sausage there and it's like oh that you know do you want a sample and it's like i know you do you come here every day where does that go by the way i don't see you have a mouth but that's <laughs> fine and you know you just get um, the the other thing i need you to do and this is a bit of a secret <clears throat> i need you uh to do me a favor and uh give me a d20 hold on a second uh, a D20, flat D20. Flat D20. You got it. Just a flat D20. 17. 17? Can't be bad. Am, yeah. I, am I looking? Are we looking for high numbers or low numbers? Can you give me that? Oh, uh, always high on a D20. But um, I'll tell you what you just rolled for me. It was an animal handling check. Okay. This rat 
pet rat, pet stopped, rat, pet rat. <laughs> stopped struggling, um, realizing it's like, uh, my butt's never going to get out of this bag. So like, just kind of like stops wiggling. Like if you get to the alley and like he's hanging out and like kind of like looking, you know, it's like, oh, you know, and and you notice that um, he's not he's not trying to get away, maybe get out of the bag, but like not get away from you. Uh, so what you do from here, totally up to you. I just wanted to let Don't you, you know. Dare. Don't <laughs> you dare. Don't you dare. Well, I think Ian and small yeah. animals have a past on the show, so don't <laughs> look for mercy when it comes to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the Thaden, he goes to the alley. He looks around to sort of like make sure the coast is clear to to have a meal basically this rat and he pulls it out of the bag and as you said there's like marketplace and so there's bits of detritus and and discarded food and stuff like that and this rat um out of the bag like is is up in his hand and he's holding it up this plump fat rat and it's sort of like sniffing around um and it seems to like just sort of like crawl uh, along his arm and uh, along his shoulders and across the spines around his head and just sort of like moving around him. Um, and the Thaden recognizes that this rat seems to at least be friendly, comes from the streets like he is at the moment. Uh, and instead reaches over for like a crust of bread and just holds it up to uh, to the rat to nibble on. And they sit there in the alley eating garbage. <clears throat> Thank you. I, yeah, that's that's. <laughs> um, do we have a name for this critter? Oh. Because without trying. I mean, the Thaden doesn't That's have a name. Th three groups now have a pet animal of some sort <laughs> that was without trying. Didn't try. We got Dog, <laughs> Roger, and... Well, because um, the, the, they didn't start really do names, right? Like, is that... Not really. Like, yeah, but like yeah. he's been in the city for a while. Like, he recognized that other people... We could hit up a random name generator and just take the first one. I think, well, I think, like, let's talk, what's this rat, what's this rat look like? We got, we got like... Well, we know he's got a big butt. <laughs> yeah, we know he's got a big butt. Okay, yeah, yeah. What's the backstory? Thick, like... Can we, can we name the rat Dumper? That's no. perfect. That's perfect. Dumper the so, rat. There, yes. So, like, we, the, 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 the no one can, no one outside of the rat and the Thaden really, really know this, but the audience who is watching realizes yes. that the Thaden, yes. in thinking of a name for this rat, is thinking, um, one, a, a, a feeling of camaraderie with it. It's, um, the feeling of, of being close to, garbage and that it has a really thick ass so the feeling of dumpy sort of like emerges in both of their heads <laughs> dumpy. I like dumpy the rat I like dumpy the rat I like so it's okay so good. <laughs> I imagine when you take it out of the bag and you're like gonna eat it it was like struggling and wiggling and like when you're holding it like you got it by one hand and it's just like it's just kind of like looking <laughs> yeah. you in the oh, eye man. and like not trying it's like huh? Like it's little um, nose, like and, doing the little. Yeah. 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 It, it gets kind of like, what are we doing boss? Like just kind of like <laughs> hanging out and <laughs> rodents are very, butt communicative. uh, like, um, Guinea pigs specifically, they have a war dance. Did you know? Uh, and their war dance is just kind of like twerking. Like they kind of like <laughs> wiggle their butts at each other. <laughs> and like that's supposed to be it's like don't fuck with me man I'm on the edge like they're just kind of like they're doing that uh, and oh it's God. adorably threatening like it's <laughs> but yeah no um, rats a little less so um, but I'm gonna say this let's dumpy the rat I think um, do you want dumpy the rat to be a male or female 
Oh, let's have let's have Rumpy Dumpy the Rat be a, be a thick boy. He can be a thick boy. Yeah. Okay, so he's got big balls, giant <laughs> testicles. <laughs> so <laughs> With the, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's so just... two things about boy rats. Um, one. <laughs> Their testicles make up about 30% of their body. No joke. <laughs> Two, they're always peeing constantly. <laughs> Wherever they walk, there's a pee trail attached to them. You can actually track them with black lights. Uh, so oh, that's yes. fun. I think, yeah, I think we went over this Yeah, when in our earlier recording. So yeah, it's definitely got to be a boy because there's pee. I got a lot of rat facts. They're, they're, they're very <laughs> smart. And so we can teach them tricks. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like D- Dumpy's going to be a valued member of this team. I think. Does Dumpy have more hit points than Daikon? <laughs> I will we'll worry about that next time, but I think <laughs> that is a fantastic time for us to stop for the evening. Yeah, that's a good ending. Also, I'm working on a pet loyalty system where they're going to level up alongside you. Oh my gosh, uh, yes. So they're not oh, only... Cool. so. They're going to get new abilities based on how close they are to you and what experiences they have in the party. I can't wait to finish that system. Oh, I had to start. Cool. So I had to start making it because of dog. Cause like <laughs> Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there's such a big thing going on right now. It's like, huh, that's <laughs> like dog's gonna start learning stuff and like he's kind of an independent like she's kind of a like an independent party member that sometimes takes orders. But most of the time, it's just a sheeb. So, like, (laughs) does what she wants. I will turn it over to uh, James, I believe, is doing our clothes, right? Who's doing our clothes? I rolled it. Ian? Yeah, do I do the clothes? I'm so sorry. Uh, Oh, no worries. Yeah, never mind. I had a mild heart attack. I'll hand it over to Ian. Uh, I'm sorry. I I don't know why. We had a conversation. (laughs) Look, man, I didn't think we'd get this far. Like, the ending? I didn't think. I didn't have to think about that. <laughs> I figured I was just going to have to talk Kelsey down from the ledge. Like, I, I, you know, but we did a full <laughs> thing. It's great. <laughs> Ian, my good sir. Hey, everyone. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode. I hope you enjoyed meeting Dumpy the Rat. Um, just so you know that you can watch this episode on Twitch and all episodes uh, every Saturday at 7 p.m. EST before they're released Sunday night. That's before the episode comes out on any of the podcast stuff that you listen to. You can uh, check out this show with our faces and video uh, on Twitch. Remember that 7 p.m. EST. Also, uh we're going to be doing a bunch of giveaways on Twitter, giving out some cool stuff, Etsy stuff, D&D related stuff. Uh, so if you're interested in that, remember to give us a follow and watch out for those giveaways at D-A-N-D-R podcast. And if you like this and you like the show and you want to see some other stuff and check out some other cool projects that we've got on some other audio content, and video content. Go and check out the Patreon, which is patreon.com slash D-A-N-D-R. There you can find a ton of cool stuff. There's lots of tiers, plenty of ways to contribute and also get a a bunch of cool D-A and Dungeons and Randomness stuff. So, yeah, uh, we'll hope we see you again. And thanks for listening.